This is a $5 computer. And here's mine, which I'm going to configure as an OpenFlow enabled switch. I'm gonna get this Raspberry Pi Zero to communicate with various controllers and then test the throughput of a Raspberry Pi Zero and other Raspberry Pis to help you decide whether you want to purchase your own Raspberry Pi and test OpenFlow and software defined networking using one of the cheapest OpenFlow switches you'll be able to purchase. Notice how small the Raspberry Pi is in relation to a quarter. There are various Raspberry Pi models, including the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B, which you can see over here. I'm connecting gigabit to USB ports to the Raspberry Pis so that we can get the maximum throughput through these devices. So here's my original Raspberry Pi. In the middle, you can see a Raspberry Pi 2, and on the left, you can see a Raspberry Pi Zero. This is a US quarter, this is a British pound, and this is a two euro coin to try and give you a sense for how small these devices are. Here's a Raspberry Pi Zero with multiple ethernet ports, which will allow me to configure it as an OpenFlow enabled switch. Here's a Raspberry Pi Two with four ethernet connectors. I do have one spare and I can use the built-in port on the Raspberry Pi, but that's not gonna give me gigabit ethernet. Here's an example of a Raspberry Pi network. I have two original Raspberry Pis, a Raspberry Pi 2 and a Raspberry Pi Zero. And in this example, I've connected the three Raspberry Pis to the Raspberry Pi 2. All I'd need to do here is power these devices on and I could create an OpenFlow network with multiple OpenFlow switches. So once again, let's look at how to configure a Raspberry Pi Zero with OpenFlow and get it to communicate with an OpenFlow controller. I'll also test the throughput through this Raspberry Pi. Now, one of the reasons I want to do this is I wanna build my own OpenFlow network permitting and denying access to various websites using OpenFlow. So I wanna be able to block certain websites simply by updating a flow rule on a Raspberry Pi. That would then stop users within my home network, such as my kids, accessing websites that are inappropriate. I can build my own filtering policies to permit or deny users on my home network access to various websites. So let's get started.